Welcome everyone, here is how you turn off your iPad Pro M2 with the touchscreen working and later I will cover without the touchscreen working. So if your touchscreen is working, you're going to find where the power button is and we're going to click and hold both the power key and the volume down key at the exact same time. So let's do this together in 3, 2, 1, click on all power volume down, keep them held down and when you see this slide to power off menu, you can release any buttons from the screen and you can just slide like so and that will turn off the iPad. Now, if you're having issues with that key combination, you can also do this with the touchscreen working, of course. You're going to open up the settings app. You're then going to select general and then you're going to see at the bottom shut down, tap on this one and then you can slide the power off right here. But those two methods do not work if the touchscreen isn't working. You may have a situation where the iPad is frozen, not responding to touch, and so you're gonna do this key combination to forcefully shut down your iPad Pro. If your iPad Pro model does have a home button, you press and hold power and home together, but most people will not have a home button, so we need to do this key combination. So we need to click and release volume up, then click and release volume down, and then click and hold the power button until we see a black screen or the Apple logo. So let's do this together. This isn't the easiest thing to pull off. This may take multiple attempts. So I advise you do the key combination as I do it. So uh, get your iPad Pro ready. We're starting in three, two, one. Click release volume up, click release volume down, click and hold the power button and keep this one held down. Do not release. If you accidentally release the power button, you will need to repeat the key combination. If your touchscreen was frozen, you wouldn't have seen the slide to power off menu. You would see the black screen and just keep on holding. And when you see the Apple logo, you can release. And so if you had any issues with the touchscreen, the device was frozen or even a black screen that will forcefully shut down your iPad Pro and then turn it back on. And of course, when it's turned back on, then guess what? Everything is going to be fully working. The touch should be fully working. And so this is definitely a useful trick to know. If your iPad ever freezes, you initiate the force restart and then just like that, you'll be good to go. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.